Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello And welcome to Do Try This at Home I'm your host, Mr. G And Do Try This at Home Is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Well, what are we going to need to do today's experiment? We're going to need a glass, real glass. We're going to need a flat saucer. This is heavy, too. It definitely will make some noise if dropped. Um, I've got this here for safety's sake, as to not make a huge mess. You don't need this, but it might be a good idea. I've even got a little rag here, so that if the, uh, if the experiment goes awry, I won't break the plate. And you're going to need a pitcher of water. But anyway, let's get started with today's experiment. Today's experiment is just amazing. You'll think, wow, that seems impossible to do. But it's not, I assure you. We're going to start by taking a couple pieces of paper towel. I might have forgotten that I tell, to tell you that you needed this. But you're going to need some paper towel. You're going to need to have it so that you've got a couple of squares, or these are just kind of rectangles that are two-ply, so I fold them in half of paper towels, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to lay them here on your flat saucer, okay? The next thing you're going to want to do is set that aside a moment. You're going to fill your glass up with water. When I say full, I mean really full. We're talking right up to just about the very top. That's pretty good right there. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take our plate and we're going to want to hold the paper towels, we're going to turn it over onto the glass and make sure it's centered. Now we're going to want to take this whole thing and holding it tight, we're going to want to turn it over like this, not allowing any air to get in around there. Now what's happening here is that water is being wicked out of the glass into the absorbent paper towel. And I'm going to lay this in the bottom of my bowl here. Now the reason I brought the bowl over is because what you're about to see is truly pretty cool. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually take this entire thing, this entire assembly here, and without touching the plate whatsoever, and you saw all I did was turn it over on there, there's no glue involved, just ordinary tap water, I'm going to lift this glass up, and you're going to see water just shoot everywhere, all over me, all over everything, I'm sure. So here we go. Let me get back a little bit. What's going on? Water did not fly everywhere. Oh, I'm shaking though. Look at this, that's why the bowl's there in case this doesn't work well. The whole plate is being lifted up. Check it out. Look at this. Amazing, huh? Huh? Pretty cool. Let me give it a couple shakes. It seems as if the plate was stuck hard to the glass. Just amazing. Well, what's happening is, is that the air pressure on the inside of the glass becomes lower because as the water wicks out, there's this little column of air left up at the top of the glass when it's turned over, and that is getting lower and lower and lower in pressure. Therefore, you might call it a vacuum, but that really isn't the case. What it is is that air pressure on the bottom of the plate, that saucer, is much greater than the air pressure pushing down and the pressure of the weight of the water pushing down against it. So the weight of the water and the whole thing just gets suspended as the glass seems to be magically stuck to the plate with the paper towels on top. I'm Mr. G. I hope you had a great time today and don't forget to visit www.mindlessmirth that's M-I-N-D-L-E-S-S M-I-R-T-H dot com for more great fun. You'll see what it's all about when you get there, and I hope that you actually become a subscriber to my blog. And also visit me on www.mrgmemrgme.com. See you next time right here on Do Try This at Home!
and turns them into something stextroid. Then what you want to do is you want to take your glass and you want to turn it upside down on the saucer. Now that isn't what you want to do. Okay, hold on. Amazing, isn't it? Look at this. And you can go way up like this. You can even tilt it from side to side if you want to. Look at that. 